Alright everyone, in this video we're going to be doing some pure striped bass fly fishing. Um, two days in this video actually, two separate trips, uh, two separate times, uh, definitely time between the trips. But I'm going to be briefly talking about what I'm doing, where I'm doing, why I'm doing, and uh, just the things that I do. Uh, basically we're going to talk about pure striped bass fly fishing in this video so should be a good one and we're going to start with the fish obviously and we're going to finish with the fish so let's uh get started here on uh outing number one so i haven't really done a pier fly fishing video in a little bit but i really enjoy pier fly fishing i get out and uh, out fishing uh, out and about so i figured let me drop one for the year um and this is it um the cool thing about this video is I'm the only guy out both times. Um, popular place, uh, unpopular time. A very important concept if you want the water to yourself. Um, it's a deep night and uh, this night happens to be quite beautiful out. Um, it is summertime and uh, what I'm trying to say briefly is um, if there is a popular tide that people like to fish, fish the other tide there's going to be fish around. They may be to a greater or lesser degree, but I can guarantee you there are going to be fish around. If not the fish you are looking for, you may find other game fish other than striped bass, such as bluefish, wheatfish, fluke, and uh, all the whole other gamut, uh, sea bass if possible, uh, just about anything is possible. But what I'm saying is briefly, fish an unpopular time, you'll have the water to yourself. Do keep in mind when you do fish contradictory times, your results are going to vary. You, there are many nights I'll go out and nothing will be going on. But there's other nights that I go out and something is going on. Uh, just keep this in mind, your results are going to vary, but the important part is you've got full access to the water. Now, real briefly, I can't count the amount of times I've walked away or fished another time away from crowds and found better fishing. On the contrary, I can't count the amount of times I walked away and found lesser fishing. So do keep that in mind. Your results are going to vary day by day, but it will fish in those popular times regardless. Now to the fishing this day I had a couple of bass and I was using exclusively a blonde gold white clouser minnow um, and I am using in both segments as we're going to get into the next day now a eight weight with a nine weight uh, probably three to four inch per second sinking line and about three to five feet of a 30 pound leader attached to that and any eight weight reel will get the job done. You probably don't even need a reel. I came up here without reels and cord fish, but bring your fly rod out with the reel you got and uh, you're good to go. So this segment uh, also, uh, you can see it's uh, raining earlier, but there's rain in the forecast. Now I have rain, I have an uncommon time, I have the deep of night, and I have the place to myself. So I can hit those angles I want to hit, and that's very important when you're fishing is to hit those right angles. If you're fishing between two buddies, you're not going to hit the right angles. You'll see something to keep in mind on your outings. But uh, we're going to start uh, talking about that, and we're going to start talking about some of the fishing that we're doing but it's, there's rain in the forecast. It's gonna begin raining soon, as you saw in a previous clip. And we had pretty good results, 
an unpopular time and we got rain and we got the water, it's a little chilly out too, and, uh, but we got the water to ourselves and that's the important part. And that's what we're looking for with these fish tonight. So to reiterate before we talk about what we're doing while we're fishing, we have the time, deep at night, we have inclement weather. Now we're hitting our angles at a popular place at an unpopular time to fish. And we have the water to ourselves. Again, it's gonna be unpredictable the fishing, but fishing is always unpredictable to begin with. Um, in this segment, I'm using a couple different flies. And this is uh, like uh, mylar. Uh, bucktail epoxy kind of minnow that I like to use and uh, we'll talk about the other fly later I use in this night. Now if you're fly fishing you can use any kind of cast you want but uh, briefly most of the time I'm using you know, a kind of lazy upward swinging roll cast. I'm just skinning the pier but I'm going to fish out, away, and in from the pier, just cover the water. Again, we're covering a lot of water. We're hitting the angles we need to hit. As for the retrieve I like to use, it's I'll use a hand-over-hand, hand uh, almost like a figure-eight retrieve, and uh, work that fly in. Sometimes I'll throw it to the side, and I'll also do my strips just showing us here. And I'll throw rod tip in there as well. I like to use a lot of rod tip in my presentation. I like to use a lot of obscure angles in my presentation. And I profess that sharp hooks counteract those odd angles. Of course, you're going to miss some strikes. But on the contrary, you're going to get more strikes. I always say fishing's about give and take. Just know what you're given for what you want to take. But it's all up to you what you want to do. And uh, that's the important part, that you're satisfied with your fishing. Now, here's the fly that I pick up the next fish on. It's a yellow half and half. And uh, we're going to finish this video, um, just how we started it, with the fish. And we're going to end it with a fish. I'm going to recap real quickly um, what you want to do. Um, now. Basically, we're looking at night, we're looking at odd times, we're looking at odd tides, we're looking at times where people are not expecting to catch fish. Your results are going to vary. You're going to get better angles, you may get some obscure fish, and uh, you can fish a popular place at an unpopular time, and you're going to get some surprising results. Now you may get some negative results as well, but you're going to get negative results if you fish popular times anyway. Anyway, I'm going to get going and well, we're going to leave you one, one more straight bass and uh, pretty good fishing night. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I had a few more fish this night. I might have started filming a little later, actually both nights. Anyway, um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, please like, dislike, comment, subscribe to the channel or not unsubscribe. And remember always, uh, fish your way. And thanks again for watching. And have a great afternoon, evening, night, day, um, wherever you are. And I'll see you next time.